to Eagle Vision for Friday, April 12, 2024. I'm Willacia, and today's top story highlights our track team as they continue their season and got a chance to visit with a special guest Wednesday morning. So on yesterday, my track guys and girls had the fortunate experience of meeting one of my uh, long-term friends. Uh, brought a guy in that's an Olympian. Uh, he ran on the 4x1 that represented the United States. Uh, against uh, the Jamaicans in the 2013-2012 uh, Olympics. Uh, Trail Kimmins is his name, uh, one of the fastest men in Mississippi at one point. Uh, they got a chance to talk to him, question him about tips and techniques uh, that would help them succeed. And uh, he spoke to him about uh, motivational things such as uh, the crowd that they were around, managing their money, uh, things that were a uh, fortunate experience dealing with track. Uh, it was a good experience and they enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully uh, it catapults us into great success this season as we go into our regional meet on the 20th. So if you are near or close by uh, Oxford, Mississippi, we will be representing Horn Lake on the 20th of April. Thank you. As baseball season continues, we sat down with Dwayne for an interview this week. Tell us about the baseball team this year. The baseball team this year has improved a lot based off personality-wise, hitting-wise. Um, you know, we get our ups and downs, getting arguments sometimes, you know, bump heads. But overall, we've improved a lot since last year and the year before that. When did you become interested in the game? I became interested at a young age. It was really the first sport I fell in love with because it was really like fundamentals, you know, you just have fun. But I feel like, I think I fell in love like seven, eight, it was young. Do you have any hobbies outside of playing baseball? Playing football, playing video games, bothering people all day. Uh, foodie, I like food a lot, you know, I eat. But other than that, nah. What's your favorite after school snack? Hear me out, pizza rolls. Polynesian sauce and ranch. Dude, just try it for one time. One time. You don't like it. Throw, throw the whole, throw the whole like thing Chick-fil-A away. Like Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce? And ranch? And ranch. Dude, just try it. Just try it. Hey, but Rotel and pizza is good, dude. Which three words would you use to describe yourself? No. Um, athletic. Funny. Mm. What's the odd word? I don't know. Handsome. Yeah. Interesting. Who do you look up to? Um. Who do I look up to? Jackie Robinson. Uh, just because, like, you know, he was kind of the first actual black baseball player. When I was young, it, it was kind of like that at a young age, you know, playing a lot of more lakes and all that. But yeah, Jackie Robinson. What would you like to be doing in ten years? 
retired, chilling at the house early. If you could be any athlete, who would you choose? Bo, Bo Jackson, a man, a man of millions. And now it's time for another segment of What's in Wallacea's Lunch? Today's lunch is very basic, but it's very good. So first we have grapes. And inside the grapes, hold on, let's put this back in here so I can undo this. We got grapes, we got cheese sticks right there. It's like, uh, and right here we got Hawaiian rolls with turkey, Chick-fil-A sauce, mayo, and mild cheese. Mild cheddar cheese, yeah, that's right. Okay, on to the sides. We got Annie's graham crackers. They're chocolate chip and chocolate flavored. They're literally the best. And next we have, I think these are Cheetos baked. Don't know what flavor they are, but they're fire. And last but not least, we got my Alani. This is not the best flavor, but it's still good because your girl needs energy. Pleasure out. I this has been a segment of What's in Wallacea's Lunch. We're here for another rant session. A couple of things that I just don't like. I just don't like. I went to a uh, pizza joint. Lost Pizza, you ever eat Lost Pizza, Coach? Mm -hmm. Lost Pizza, good, I, I enjoy Lost Pizza. Part. Yeah, I went with a couple of my buddies and they said that the new trend, the new trend is pepperoni pizza with honey all over it. Have you heard of this? Mm -mm. Okay. Is it good? Can I say that on EVTV? It was terrible. And of course they, I mean, they, they were, they were, I mean, they were gushing. They were gushing about this. They're like, you have got this. It's, it's amazing. It is, what do they say? Cold. It's cold. It's cold. You children say that all the time. It's cold. They ordered this massive pizza. Luckily, I did I did what Partee here would have done. I got my own food. Like, I did not trust that honey on a pizza was going to be good even. So I got my own food. That's right. Got my own food. Had me some little cheese sticks, a little, little uh, medium pizza, thin crust that I was going to... But they gave me a big old slice of this pizza and like an idiot I took a really big bite of it like not a you know I was gonna I was the table yeah, so I'll try this they, they I mean they're down there gushing over it, eating it as inhaling it as fast as they can it was the nastiest thing and I have no poker face when it comes to food I took that huge bite and I gagged my wife was laughing at me my kid was like, yes, I spit it out into a napkin. I was polite about it, but I, oh, oh. do not, or I do not understand why people put honey all over a pepperoni pizza and think that that sweet and salty together tastes good. I put a pineapple. And I don't like pineapple on pizza either. Ooh, that's, I, that's fine. Nah, it's not. It's not. Mm. A few weeks ago, I was in a candy shop in Tupelo. Amazing. Tupelo has an amazing candy shop, by the way. If you're ever in Tupelo, you definitely need to go over there. Um, salt on caramels and chocolates. Mm. You know, you, they had the little caramels in there and there's these the salted no salt. caramel. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. I, and I don't understand that at all. And what made me mad I was, eat it, I know, it's I nasty. know they do. And I don't know why they do. That is nasty to me. I ordered so. a, a half, like a little bag, half a bag of, and you know chocolates at these, these stores are not cheap. Mm. So I ordered a little half a bag and they put some of the salt from the salted ones in the whenever they were making them landed in that bag of unsalted ones so some of my chocolate had that salted covering on it when that's not what i wanted and not what i ordered and every time i took like i started brushing my chocolates off with my hand trying to get all the salt that was residue off of it i don't do you understand why people put salt on chocolate I don't why they think that's good yuck that is nasty something I equally hate, YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts, and here's why. They suck you into a really good thing, and then it ends, and you don't, quickly, and you don't get the rest of the story. It's like starting a movie, and then not getting to finish the end of the movie. And I think, I 
think half of America's out there like, well, let's, let's on to the next one. <laughs> and they're just entertained, but like, well, we didn't finish that one. Oh, what's this? And then it's, oh, well, that one's over. Oh, what's this? And it's on to the next one, on to the next, 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 next. And nobody ever finishes any movies or any stories. It ticks that. me off. I, I'm, I'm kind of guilty of doing it. You like the little shorts. You like the little hit. It's, it's kind of like, it, it makes you like, all right, I gotta watch that later. Then I go to the next, oh, I might, let me see. Okay, I might need to watch But that. you never watch it later because you I never really go back and find any context on it. Some of it I do, some of it I don't. But it does, because I may, I may watch it and then I was like, I'm glad I didn't watch the whole thing. Because it don't look, it doesn't look pretty good. A really good YouTube <laughs> short that goes viral is something that grabs your attention. It and does. normally, it is an you cannot part. finish whatever that bit of information is in 60 seconds. And so, they just, they hook you and then they leave you hanging. That's the whole definition of a YouTube short. It's the hook. They give me every time. <laughs>18th and the 19th uh, from 415 to 615 uh, please bring a updated physical to try out also bring your own uh, clothing uh, shorts shirt shoes um, we're looking forward to having you all come out and try out uh, go Eagles that's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake we are better students always growing and expecting more Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here Monday. Have a fantastic day.